It has been amazing how this conflict in the Middle East is just ex making people's masks completely fall off. Like, there's a lot of people on the right who I thought I'd like and support, but they are just gargling all the glizzies of Israel right now. And, well, it's not even that. Some of them, like James Lindsay, for example, he's anti-woke to the max. He's going after CRT. And a lot of the CRT people are the pro-Palestine people. So he seems to be kind of taking Israel's side. And it's like, no, just stay neutral on this conflict here. Just get your hands out of it. I understand you hate the, you hate the woke people. I do too. I, but we don't want to support Israel here either. We do, don't forget what happened to the USS Liberty. <laughs> James Lindsay forgot about the USS Liberty. No, so we're supposed to be against collective. Okay, basically, here's what's happening. One of the solutions to Israel Palestine is something called a two state solution. And that's the solution. That's the end game is two states to that solution. Which means right now we are not in a two state. We are in a one state. Which means Palestine doesn't exist. It is a separate state from Israel. No, no. It is inside of Israel. There is no separate state of Palestine. They don't have their own borders. They are Israel. So technically Palestine's an open air prison. And so all those people are kind of trapped there. And before you say I'm pro-Palestine, I'm not. I'm just against what Israel is doing. <laughs> I'm also against the woke people. I'm against both sides of this conflict, okay? That's why I don't want to team up either of them. Also, we don't need another war in the Middle East. I don't think that needs to be said, but I just said it anyways. If you guys agree with me, leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, rack the moderate out of here.